Hey everyone, I'm Paul, and today I'm installing this Flatland Racing skid plate on my Honda CRF 300L. You can find this skid plate at flatlandracing.com or other motorcycle stores online for about $125. The skid plate comes with two brackets and two bolts. Start by applying Loctite to the threads so things don't get loose later. The CRF300L already has threaded brackets welded to the frame, so hold the skid plate up and start the bolts by hand. Use a 4mm Allen key to turn the bolts. Leave them loose for now. Set one of the lower brackets on the frame and thread the bolt in with your fingers. Use a 5mm Allen key, but leave the bracket loose. Install the other bracket and don't tighten the bolt yet. You want to leave the whole skid plate loose so you can align it correctly on the frame. If everything looks good, go ahead and tighten the bolts. The front bolts don't have spacers, so don't go crazy tight. About 6 Nm of torque is enough. Tighten the lower bolts until the bracket sits flush against the skid plate. These bolts are a larger diameter and can go a bit tighter. 10 Nm should be tight enough here. This skid plate looks really good and should do a great job protecting the sides of the engine case from rocks. They even included an access hole for the drain plug, although I still recommend removing the skid plate for oil changes so you don't make a mess. Well, that was the world's easiest skid plate installation. Thanks Flatland Racing for making such an awesome product. And thank you for watching my video. See you next time.